Bell Fountain Neighbors is on the hook for thousands of dollars to pay former politicians. A judge recently ruled two more older persons are entitled to back pay, bringing the total now to four. News 4's Dion Broxton talked to a taxpayer who is disappointed the money wasted to take this to court. I think it's ridiculous. That's Claudia Harris reacting to the city of Belfont and neighbors now owing four former older persons nearly $8,000 plus lawyer fees. It's ridiculous that we're spending our time and money on some frivolous stuff like this. A court recently ruled the city must give those former city leaders back pay. That's on top of the $5,000 retainer fee plus the 300 per hour for the lawyer representing Belfont and neighbors. Well, they kept us from having meetings. In a recent interview with News 4, outgoing mayor Tommy Pearson defended holding on to the money. I don't want to set that precedence for other cities to have to fight through that. We all have differences and differences of opinion, and that's fine. We should be able to vote differently and yet come together. Former Alder woman Barbara West wants current Alder woman and incoming mayor Diana Tatman to move the city of Belfont and neighbors ahead. But I am hopeful that she will do a better job. A judge granted West $1,500 in back pay, but not the total $4,400 she sued for. She plans to appeal. Hopefully it will be less confrontation and more about getting things done. News 4 reached out to incoming mayor Diana Tatman about this story, but she didn't want to comment. She will be sworn into office on April 20th. In Belfont and neighbors, Dion Broxton, News 4.